Well, hello there, everybody. It is 10 o'clock. And uh, hi there, everybody. It is 10 o'clock. My name is John Leland, as you can see on the thing there. And uh, boy, I'm excited. It's like I've been doing this presentation for hours and days. And it's hard to believe that I only decided to do this webinar less than two weeks ago. But uh, I am excited. I have a ton of information for you, a valuable offer, um, insights, uh, demos. And it's all about, uh, you know, websites and my perspective about what's going on. As you know, uh, I call this the truth about websites. And I'm going to talk about my view about website technologies, um, not just kind of as a random guy, but as somebody that's been working on this stuff for 20 years in terms of websites. So um, welcome, welcome, welcome. I want to take a breath. I'm a little nervous and psyched up and Wow, I think we're, it's all, all the technology, as far as I can tell, seems to be working. So, yay. And go Warriors. So happy about the Warriors win last night for you Bay Area people. Um, anyway, and, 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 you know, sympathies to those folks in Houston who had to lose, but also uh, have a lot of struggles going on. So let's get down to business. I am going to share some slides with you. I'll go back and forth uh, between the video here as well as, um, the slide presentation, and then I'm also going to do some web demos, taking the risk of doing live uh, in-person demos for you. Uh, I also will turn the chat on. Webinar Jam has a chat column. I don't have it on right now because I want to stay really present with you and do this uh, workshop. I told you that I was going to do it in a half an hour, and I'm really going to do my best and try and do it at a at a reasonable pace so that you're not drinking from a fire hose. I, I know I have a ton of information and, and I tend to uh, want to give as much as I can and be as, as much service as I can, but I also know that can be challenging in terms of digesting. So I'm going to give you the visuals to go with it. A couple quick questions that always get asked, can you have the slides? Yes, I will make the slides available. I'll put them on SlideShare and because you registered, I'll also with the follow-up email uh, with the recording, I will also make a PDF of the um, slides available to you. Um, so the recording and the slides, so you'll get both of those. So let me bring up the slides, speaking of the slides. Um, and I guess I'm going to have to move my thing just a little bit here. Um, so I wanted to give you a, a quick overview in terms of, um, you know, what I'm doing and who I am in terms of the, uh, you know, the kind of the world of media. Um, Hold on just one second. I want to make sure that that's going out to everybody. There you go. So um, I have been a media innovator for 40 years. It's kind of hard to believe, but as you can see the bullets, um, I started the first Narrowcats radio network in the 70s. Um, I was a cable uh, TV pioneer as the founding director of uh, creative services at the USA Cable Network back when... Um, you know, CNN and MTV and ESPN were really uh, the original narrow cast TV networks. Um, in the 90s, I saw the digital video revolution coming and I produced a couple of videos uh, about the desktop video revolution, which now we sort of take for granted. But companies like Sony and Adobe and a bunch of others sponsored me to produce videos about the desktop video revolution. Um, and then I've been designing websites uh, since 1995, and, and once we turned into the new millennium, kind of websites and internet marketing uh, became my main thing. Uh, and I wrote this book that you see the picture of, Eight Key Concepts, uh, Internet Marketing, Eight Key Concepts Every Business Must Know. All of this kind of under the umbrella of spanning the Grand Canyon gap between people and technology. And I am celebrating the 30th anniversary of starting my own company back in 1985. So um, that was doing video before websites. But it, all of this is to say that, um, you know, I'm not just a guy with an, with an opinion about websites. I really have been tracking all of these changes in technology. And, um, and that's part of the service that I provide in the world. Um, Randy Haldeman has been a client of mine for a long time. And um, I interviewed him about why he likes working with me. And one of the things he said, which was really useful and I think is relevant here, is that um, he can count on me for being on top of the latest and greatest marketing communication technologies and, and trust us to do that. And that's, that really kind of reminded me of this value that I provide. And that, that's what I'm doing here today um, is talking to you 
not just at random, but um, about the trends that I see having been, you know, having been doing, having given the fact that I've been doing websites since the beginning of the web with the Mosaic browser in 1995, I started working with HTML. So very quick context, just to give you a, a brief 20 year history of, uh, and that's all it's been, right? From a point of view of technology, it's a baby. It's only 20 years old, um, barely out of adolescence. And, and I would say in some ways it's younger than that. Um, but we, we had the, the beginning of websites in 1995. Um, after HTML, the, the really preferred platform um, that came forward was Dreamweaver, which was originally a Macromedia product, got acquired by Adobe. Um, and, you know, I guess it's been about five or so years that um, I've been working with WordPress. I really identified WordPress as a leader. People were going, what about Joomla? What about Drupal? Those platforms are still around. And, and part of the reason I wanted to give you this overview is, you know, I'm talking about Squarespace today because I like it and I think it represents the leading edge at the moment, particularly for small websites. But it's not the only thing out there. All of these platforms are still out there. Adobe is still publishing Dreamweaver, for example. Um, and then, you know, I think that we're beginning to move beyond just WordPress, but into fully uh, uh, integrated whole one standalone, I guess is the right word, cloud apps like Squarespace. And, and again, to be clear that I'm looking at this in, amongst other things, WordPress.com, the, the kind of light version of WordPress where you don't install on your server or Wix or other examples of similar kind of products, I just think that Squarespace is better and I'm gonna explain why. Um, but I also want to give you the whole picture of some people and some companies that are, you know, WordPress has become very capable of doing really big websites. Um, but there are other kind of solutions. HubSpot is one that I frankly would like to spend more time with because it integrates a lot of marketing functionality. But there's an example of another closed system like Squarespace that provides a lot of benefit by building things in. And you know, the bottom line about all of this is that it's a moving target. Stay tuned. It's going to change. Um, but that's the, you know, that's the, the context, if you will, of, uh, uh, of why I'm talking about Squarespace today and what I think it does. So what is Squarespace and, you know, where is it coming from and how does it work? I'm going to give you, I'm going to really start with some of the basic things that people always ask about and then move into my seven favorite reasons why I think it's important, um, including the demos and so forth. So that's that's where we're heading. Um, Squarespace, and, and by the way, I did mention, I think, but I'll turn the chat on at the end. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this whole presentation done, I believe, by 1030. I'm going to do my best, uh, Pacific time, of course. Uh, and uh, then I'll turn the chat on, and I'm willing to hang out at least another half hour if you want, if there are enough questions and, and people want to want to ask. I'm happy to do that. So Squarespace, you may have seen them. They were in the Super Bowl. Um, this is still on their website, but it's not their main homepage. Um, Jeff Bridges, uh, you know, I'm sure is a paid endorser, uh, but you know, they're they're a big company with a with well, uh, you know, with a lot of investment backing, which is something that I look for because I want to make sure a platform that I'm investing in is going to be around for a while. And the bottom line about it is that um, it's simple. Um, it's easy to use and it gets the job done. And I think that there's a lot to be said for that, um, as I'll explain. Um, the, the other thing that um, people always want to know going in is how much does it cost? So this is the bottom line. And I, don't, I didn't get their entire page here. If you go to the, the business level, um, uh, you know, there are more benefits that go down below. But, but you know, most companies... Uh, at the smaller end of the spectrum are fine with the $16 a month, which by the way is the annual rate in the fine print there. It says $20 a month for uh, month to month, uh, $10 a month on the personal level, which is limited to 20 pages is the main thing that you don't get um, if you if you do that. But, you know, so it, it and this includes the hosting. Um, you know, so that's the kind of nuts and bolts of it is that you, you're not paying a separate web host uh, because Squarespace doesn't require you to do an install like the installed version of WordPress does. Um, this is your full web hosting uh, and software license cost. Um, it does not include email, so you're going to be doing email 
uh, via a different provider. And if you want during Q and A, I can talk about that. But you know, that's kind of the bottom line: is this is a very cost-effective uh, integrated platform. Sorry. So I also want to put to your mind at rest here that I was not hyping you in the promotion of this web webinar. Uh, when I said that Squarespace can save you thousands of dollars. Um, you know, simplification, number one, is just like a huge deal uh, in my life, in my professional life. Um, I also think that most of us don't want to spend time on a learning curve. Uh, and that really brings up the third bullet, which is, you know, the need to hire a developer. Um, I, you know, and the complexities of managing uh, you know, a vendor finding the right person. I can't tell you how many, you know, web clients have come to me and been burned by uh, uh, irresponsible, unprofessional, flaky, uh, you know, web developers. And, and I know that there are a lot of good ones out there too, but, you know, it's like, how much do you want to spend in terms of that cost and the maintenance? And, and the big thing for me where I've literally saved clients thousands of dollars is that because of Squarespace, I've developed a whole new collaborative model, which you know is really empowered by this software. I call it one to one, get it done. Um, and there are lots of there. I, I actually came across somebody else doing something similar. So it it enables this kind of real time interaction where I sit down and be a creative director and a writer and help someone not just do their website but craft it from a communications point of view in a much more efficient way. Um, so doing websites. You know, the baseline kind of starting costs for my WordPress sites has been around $3,000, and I'm still do doing that. Um, you know, the Squarespace sites are starting around 1500 and even less, I'm doing these three-hour one-on-one get-it-done websites, which are currently list price for $900, um, and I'll make you an offer later if you're interested in that. But that's the, you know, this is a new way of working and a new way of getting a very professional website done uh, far more cost effectively. So that that's really the the reality of that. Um, the the I I just want to underscore that I'm not saying that Squarespace is a panacea. It's not one size fits all kind of technology. I'm saying that it's really good for small businesses who will benefit from a simple solution where they get things done. Um, WordPress WordPress does have advantages. Um, if you want to spend the time and money to do more customization, um, it absolutely has more customization options, including hundreds of plugins. You do have more control of your data because you're installing it on your own server or your own hosting account, um, and that enables you to move it around. Um, and so it's a much more extensible and open platform. Um, and a good example of that, I'm going to talk about the importance of mobile and how that works in a couple of minutes. But, you know, I just did a mobile first custom web design. I'm actually doing it pro bono for a not big nonprofit. And they have the budget for us to really build something uh, that's mobile friendly in the architecture and it's a completely custom design. That's not possible in Squarespace. That is possible in WordPress. So if you're a bigger company and have a bigger budget, um, you can do more elaborate things, um, and there's other functionality that is in WordPress that's not in Squarespace. But for small businesses, it really has most of of what you need, and so I'm going to show you that. The, the the other kind of advantage is, you know, and this is kind of one of my themes is done is better than perfect. I, I did a search on the web and Cheryl Sand. Um, but you know, I, everybody gets that kind of concept, and it's an important trend in business. Uh, and this will be the last slide in terms of the kind of the context. But you know, if you're not familiar with lean startup, if you're not an entrepreneur, you should be going on in Silicon Valley these days. Everybody's doing it. Um, it's another name for this trend. But the idea is measure, learn, iterate, learn from doing things, and and keep on going. Um, but you need to do things very efficiently and very fast. And my big concern for a lot of small businesses, and I've seen this over and over again, is that they don't have the whether it's money or time to not, but then to market the website and be on social media 
and it just becomes overwhelming. So the having the website be a such a big investment of time and money is really hurting their bottom line beyond just the cost. And so, you know, the benefit of done is better than perfect is that you can try things and you can get out and, um, and be more innovative, as the slide says. So, so that's really the undercurrent here. And uh, that's really my bottom line is that you need more things. So what about Squarespace? Here are my seven reasons, and this is the table of contents for the next 15 minutes on, on what it is and why I think it works um, for small businesses. Um, I, you know, the number one thing is elegant templates. I mean, and I, I think I want to make sure that I get done on time. So I'm going to let you explore these yourself. All you have to do is go to squarespace.com. And the first thing they do is dump you in to choose a template. And each one of these templates, and obviously I've just shown you a few here on, there's tabs across the, let's see, yeah, you can see my mouse. But anyway, th there's lots of beautiful, they're modern, they're elegant, some of them, uh, you know, really leverage good photography, um, which, you know, is a very nice thing. They, they, and they all have the functionalities that I'm about to talk about. And, and that was really one of the things that Aerospace, um, you know, it's one of the big things, it's it from Wix, for example, is that the templates are just more beautiful um, and they work. So, uh, and I'm going to talk about that from a mobile friendly point of view in just a second. So, um, you know, let that, um, if we have time at the end, but I, I get um, everything uh, in terms of the main content here for you. So number two is extremely easy to use, and I'm going to uh, demo that for you because I think that there's just some functionality that um, is not to be missed. So let me come back over. I just need to switch my I'm, – I'm the one-man band video director here, which is not necessarily a good thing. Oh, I see. I'm seeing my thing. Forgive me. So I will come back. I will stop the screen sharing. So hello there. Um, hope it's going good. Let me take a breath and a drink of water, and I'm going to switch over to my web browser and do a quickie little demo. I don't want to, I would take the time normally to look at the chat and get your feedback, but we ain't got time for that today. We will do Q&A at the end, as I said. So let me go back to the screen sharing and uh, find my web browser. I know I have it. All right, hang on just one second for me. Here we go. So... There we are. So, so here we are looking at my web browser. Um, say present to everyone. There we go. So I'm. I just made a sam simple and test website, and and what I'm doing within within this is editing the contact page. I have other than putting my logo up top. Um, I really haven't modified this theme, but some of the stuff that's built in. But the really important important thing in understanding how easy Squarespace is to use are these little, so all you have to do if you want to edit a page is click on the bubble, and these are your basic things. These are all, these are four different kinds of photo galleries. These are, you know, arrangements that you can insert into the page, um, newsletter sign up, um, filters, e-commerce, charts, and social blocks. So if you want to embed your Instagram, Twitter feed, um, or a bunch of social links right here. Um, so let's see, what should I do? I think I'll, I'll put a quick slideshow in here, okay? So boom, I have a gallery, and, and all I have to do is upload some images. Let's see if I want to do one real quick. Are we having internet connection? I don't think so. It says there. Rut row. Oh, I do. I have an internet problem. Hopefully, you didn't lose too much there. So I don't know. Uh, I got a a Twitter header. That's the first thing that came up. So I'm just going to throw that in there. So the um, hopefully it reestablishes connection. So you know, I I can upload any number of images 
I'm in my com bridges, so let me go to the pictures. Where did my pictures go? There we go. Who knows what we're going to show in my hard drive here. You're not even seeing it, I don't think. Birthday love. I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's a picture from my birthday party. We're getting personal here. Um, so as soon as that uploads, boom, I got another picture. There's our friend Suzanne. And that, now I have a gallery uh, that I need to save the page. And I, and I have a photo gallery here that's showing those two pictures that I just uploaded. Um, you know, it, it then has preferences and so forth that I can edit that. But, um, you know, I hope that gives you a quick taste of how easy it is to edit these, these themes. It's, it's, um, it's pretty much a no-brainer. And it's, it's also a drag-and-drop type of operation. So you can take one of those text blocks, move it around. You want it vertical instead of horizontal. You slide it. It changes. It's, it's really about as drag-and-droppy as, as you can get. So that's my number two uh, reason for Squarespace. The third one, which is giant, is bulletproof, mobile-friendly, responsive design. Um, and I, I want to thank 22 Social for this image. But for those of you that may not know what responsive design is, it's a way to be mobile-friendly so that this same website is going to appear on the desktop as on a mobile or an iPad or whatever. It's a, it delivers a different... Uh, arrangement of the content based on the width of the device that's being viewed. And, um, you know, what we're seeing on the web these days is at least a quarter and sometimes as much as a half. So you could use a third as a benchmark of the traffic is coming from mobile devices. So you need to be mobile friendly because that's a big part of the visitors that are coming to your website, a, a, a hugely substantial one. And then, and then on top of that, um, is this thing called Mobile Geddon, which is that Google has now updated its algorithm to really honor uh, and, and favor mobile sites, particularly under uh, mobile search, right? So if I go on a mobile phone and I search for whatever your business is in that subject, um, you know, Google is not going to give your website as a result if you don't have a mobile-friendly website. And the big thing about it, and the reason that, that I said bulletproof on this slide is because one of the things that I see with doing, you know, and I've done dozens of Word, my, me and my company have done dozens of WordPress websites, is that in the customization, you know, because we're customizing these themes as opposed to drag and drop modifying uh, the Squarespace templates, uh, you know, the, the responsive version of it can get broken and can become an issue. And so that is a level of complexity because Squarespace 7, and, and I should specify we're talking about the latest version of Squarespace, um, is all responsive. You don't have to look for a responsive theme. They are all responsive. And they have that, you know, that mobile first technology built in. Now you could go in and hack the CSS, which some people do, then you can break the responsiveness. So that's, that's number three, and that's really a big reason. Um, number four is kind of my favorite, uh, which is this get it done opportunities. So the ease and simplicity of this platform translates into more productivity and the new forms of collaboration that I was talking about before. For example, um, Jim Draper, who I, I did a one-on-one -on -one get it done session with, said that we got his website done in less time than it takes to play a round of golf. I love that because I'm a golfer. Um, and in just one afternoon, I saved him a ton of money, time, and effort. Uh, and, you know, and that's a fact because he was struggling. He was trying to do things on his own. Uh, you know, it was uh, a lot of frustration. And he came in. We, we set him up in, in Squarespace. And then he was off and running and did the rest of it himself. Uh, I mean, there, his, oh, sorry. I thought. Oh, I see what happened. There we go. Um, you know, I, I'll send you the, the, these are the URLs of some of the other, of his website and a couple of the other one-on-one -on -one get it done websites. Jim went, was off to the races and did the rest himself. Dara came back actually, and Dara Ackerman, the singer songwriter here. Uh, and we did another three hour session. Larry's been completely happy with his website. So, that, you know, those are really, you know, even below the lower cost of a website, this collaborative opportunity to just get it done. 
as opposed to hanging out for months. I see small businesses with websites that look like they were done in the dark ages um, or no website at all. And here's a way that we can get you on the web real quick. It's not, you know, the ultimate work of art. You know, if you want to spend more time and money, that's available. But if you want a good, functional, professional looking website, we can do it fast. And I, I'm going to go on to the other three reasons why website is so cool. I'm sorry, Squarespace is so cool. But before I do that, I just I don't want to go any further without letting you know about this special offer that I'm going to make just for the next 48 hours. As I said, my my one-on-one -on -one get it done websites are um, you know $900 list. It's a three-hour session, uh, but I I am. I just popped up and hopefully you can see this offer that I'm offering $150 off those three hour sessions. So only $750 for a three hour one on one get it done website session. And just for fun, the first two of you that sign up, uh, I'm going to give $100 back. So uh, I can only do one discounted buy page. So you're going to pay $750, but the first two signups, so click now and go do it if you want to be the first two. Uh, I'm going to give $100 back, so it'll only be $650. I, you know, It's an offer that I, I've never made uh, before, and um, I don't know if I'll ever do it again. Well, who knows? But um, the, if, if you want to type in the URL, you can go to bit.ly slash save hyphen done because you're going to save money and you're going to get it done. But, uh, you know, or you can just click that link in, in your browser. But I, I just want to let you know that I'm doing that for 48 hours only. Uh, and you can just go there and I would love to work with you and, and sign up and we'll do a three hour session and get you off and running with Squarespace. I'll bring my creative director, my writing, my information architecture design and all of that. So it's not just about just doing a website. You get to do it with me personally and I'll guide you every step of the way. So um, I just want to offer that, put that in now so you don't miss it because I'm excited about doing it. And I'm excited about doing more of these Squarespace one-on-one -on -one get it done websites. So um, that's that. Feel free to do that at any time. So number five, and I've got three minutes, so I'm going to run a little bit over, is all of the essential features. So I, I will wait for the Q&A to demo. You can ask me to show off how these things work. But some of the features that I found really useful are, uh, you know, lead capture. You know, you can create a form basically on any page uh, and, you know, customize that form, link it up to MailChimp or have any text file come out to you dump it into a Google Doc. They've got a bunch of export options. It does include blogs. It does include social media icons. It does include video and audio embeds. In fact, I had fun uh, working with Dara on her website. Not only was there an album template, which you know included playing tracks, but um, she put up an, uh, a webcast interview that she did. And we just went to the webcaster. I found the MP3 link put it into the audio player in, in Squarespace, and boom, it was lovely and happening. No searching for plugins, no installing plugins. It just happened. Um, I tried to give you a quick photo gallery demo. And the other thing that I actually discovered recently is they have an announcement bar built in. And of course, all of this is customizable, color fonts, all that basic stuff within their you know easy to control interface. So those features are there. Um, number six, you know, is really kind of a decider for a lot of people. Um, they, you know, because Squarespace is a direct vendor, unlike WordPress, uh, WordPress is done by a company called Automatic, um, you can de get live chat or fast turnaround email tech support um, from them. And so that's a big piece of an advantage rather than calling your web developer like us. I mean, you know, it's been part of my bread and butter and, and continues to be part of what we do is we support websites, we modify websites, we update websites, um, and we do that those kind of services by the hour. Um, and, you know, we're happy to do that. And, and a lot of times that's appropriate for companies. They're looking for a virtual partner and they're happy to pay for it. But in a lot of cases, you know, the do it yourself can become, it can bury you, but if you have good support, you can get a lot done on your own. And I'm all about empowering people to get stuff done the best that they can. Um, so that that's a big advantage of Squarespace 
over WordPress because WordPress doesn't have that kind of support. There is a, a codec, and I'm going to give you the link in a minute, um, where you can reference technical information, and there certainly are forums and online support groups that you can reference, but that's not the same as direct technical support 24-7. And number seven, and I and I think that this is, uh, you know, a big deal, is the hassles. You know, one of the things, and and I host WordPress websites for clients, um, maintain them, and do all this stuff. Um, and it, if you're doing a WordPress website, if you're installing uh, WordPress and doing the customization like we're talking about, you need to be aware of this. Um, you know, if you have a WordPress website, you may well have been hacked. It's not uncommon. Um, so I talk about doing the maintenance as a kind of insurance, making sure that backups are happening. When you do do upgrades, there can be plug-in conflicts. So uh, I think this stuff is a burden for small businesses. I have to provide that service for our WordPress websites because otherwise, you know, obviously the business is taking a risk and we don't want that. But one of the advantages of, of Squarespace is that it's a walled garden. It's a closed system, less extensible less customizable, but extremely customizable. Um, but, you know, that's the benefit is they're hosting, they're maintaining, they're making sure the hackers don't get in, they're doing the backups automatically, um, and so forth. So it's 1031. I apologize. I, I ran, I'm running slightly over. Um, so I'm not going to detail all of this stuff. But um, so WordPress does have more themes, more plugins. Uh, and if you're going bigger, for things like membership sites or a bigger shopping cart, they have a basic shopping cart and it works. I mean, Squarespace is built in, so you're not installing something, hooking something up. It's built in. Um, and the export on WordPress is complete because you own the database and if you want to manipulate data and export data, but there is a limited export inside Squarespace. Um, and the mobile friendliness, like I said, is guaranteed. So, um, you know, the bottom line is that uh, for small businesses in particular, there's more to life in business than websites. Um, my theme and a lot of business people, entrepreneurs that I know, is how do we simplify? We wanna have more fun with everything we do. And at the end of the day, we wanna build win-win relationships, um, particularly with our customers or via social media. And, and that takes time. That takes, that's your priority, not your website. Your website can support that and play a role but in general, I think, especially for small businesses, the smaller on the smaller end of small businesses, they spend too much time on their website and not enough time on building those relationships. And then we all have to take care of ourselves. So, you know, the fact that you can get a really good website done on a professional looking, you know, professional looking website efficiently um, at the end of the day, I think is, is uh, you know, the reason that this is moving the way that it's moving and why I think that is important. Um, I'll include these links in when you get the slides, but there's an uh, interesting comparative review that goes into some of the stuff I talked about in more detail. If you want to look at a full set of Squarespace features, um, <coughs> excuse me, there's a link for that. Um, and, and also you can look at the Squarespace help files. Those are the two links I talked about for WordPress, their codecs and the support forums. So I really appreciate you being here. Um, and uh, I just am so grateful for your attention, and I hope this has been really valuable. I'm going to open up the chat now, um, and so uh, let me move over here to the chat. So say hi to me. Wow, people are chatting already. I didn't even know it was on. So some people said I was horrible. So it has started. Um, I don't know how old this is. Uh, let me see. The uh, messages are public. I, and I'm going to say hi there as a sticky message, but I'm open to questions. So um, let me know. Let me know uh, if you're here or if you have any questions. I I have a couple other slides that I didn't even get to. Um, so people were talking about the technology at the beginning. So um, any questions, anybody? Maybe I'm looking at. So Jeff says, "How? what about SEO? I think I was looking at the bottom. I should be looking at the top. Um, yeah, the SEO is good, Jeff. Um, that's a great question. So um, Jeff W. is asking, uh, what about uh, SEO? So 
there are ba I'm tended to go I'm tempted to go to the screen but I think I should keep it simple for myself like I said so you can do the basic things that you need for SEO I think people know that um, you know SEO is really important in terms of the basic things like a separate uh, HTML page title versus the headline title uh, on the um, uh, page uh, adding a description uh, you know, it's not quite the functionality. Uh, we use the Yoast SEO plugin on WordPress, so it's a different model, but you can definitely do the basic uh, on-page modifications like page titles, descriptions, uh, and of course the page styling things that, that give weight on the page. As, as you probably know, um, a lot of SEO is about link building and about uh, other ways that you appear to Google. Um, but the basic functionality is a requirement for me, and I would not be recommending WordPress if you couldn't do things like do a separate HTML title and add a meta description uh, and that kind of thing. So, so the basic stuff. Um, so, and a lot of questions about SEO. So, let me see. Your knowledge and expertise are so easy to understand. Way we'll definitely keep you in mind. Okay, good. I can't, I can't seem to scroll down. Okay, good. So that's SEO. Um, I said all this stuff about linking and I, I do consulting. Uh, uh, there we go. Susan said, very informative. Thanks for sharing. Thank you, Susan. And thank you, David, who had to leave. Any other questions? Um, I do have a bonus slide for you. Um, this is uh, you know a, a part of the side-by-side. -side. I actually have a couple of these slides, um, but you know, with WordPress, the software is free. Um, and with Squarespace, the software is part of your monthly fee. But on WordPress, you have to install it. On Squarespace, you don't. Um, and and yes, uh, I'm sorry. So yeah, you can look at that slide. I'd like to answer the question. So let me see. Can you import your logo graphic on the template you choose? Oh, absolutely, Joanne. Um, in fact, that was one of the things maybe, well, let's see how we go on the questions, but I can come over and, and show that to you. But the customization is quite massive. I mean, I, and I know I said that WordPress is more customizable, but I'm talking that there you're, you're modifying CSS and you're essentially hacking a theme. When you customize Squarespace, you're going into this control panel. And I think I, I will do a quick screen share here. Um, and show you a little bit of that. But it's all extremely easy and natural. So I'm gonna demo that, but I, I already am, one of the little things that I did in that demo site I showed you before was to import my own logo graphics, so that's a definite yes. And Glenn, in terms of the H1 and H2 metadata, yeah, the, there are H1 and H2 text, uh, you know, headlines and subheads headlines, which for those of you that don't know what H1 and H2, that's what those are, are title headings and sub, title headings, um, the H1 and H2 um, provide the, um, the headline. So that, that definitely shows up. And um, yeah, so let me see. I'll, I'll keep looking back for questions, but uh, let me stop sharing the slides for a second. And then, hello, thank you again for being here and thanks for such great questions. Um, and let me jump back over into Squarespace. Uh, oh yeah, there's my little slides. And, and, I, and I'm gonna show you kind of like the basics here so um, this little button up in the left, I think you can see me click, goes back to design, right? So if we go home, this will give you the basic interface. So if I want to edit pages, this is my current site structure, and it shows me sub pages. But if I want to edit the style, um, I go into design, and there's a style editor, and there's logo and title, by the way, for uh, that question, and and site wide. I can edit these things, um, you know, and and so that that gives you, you know, and it, this is so like kind of basic. So you know, your heading color. If I wanted to get wild and wacky and make a red heading color, there it is. Um, and so I can save that. And and I forget it. So if I I'm going to John Leland. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new browser tab for you. So this is this is John hyphen Leland squarespace dot com if you want to find out that I'm actually doing this for real. So if I paste that logo in here, I think I saved. Loading, loading, loading. Trial account upgrade now. 
So this is my logo that I upgraded. I don't think that I, I think I failed. Oh, there's, oh, I see, I did, this is main contact text. So my my header on uh, those pages ended up uh, being read. Shows you how great I am at all this. But you know, there's buttons and so forth. With Within the, one of the things that I was really impressed with was the social icons. Um, and I don't know if I remember quickly where the, where those are, but there's there's this is how I uploaded my logo. Um, somebody asked, "What is SEO?" Um, the uh, SEO is search engine optimization, Pushkara. So um, that's how you get well, uh, get found well via Google and so forth. So SEO is a whole both art and science of playing the game with Google to be found for relevant results. And I can do a whole workshop on that. Um, let's see. So Glenn is asking HTML5. I believe uh, with WordPress 7, uh, I believe that that's the case. I'm gonna. I'm actually, to be honest, presuming that because that's just sort of how this works. But if if I go here and click that, I don't know. It's not gonna. So let me do it. The, let me do it a different way. Um, just to show you what's going on. Um, this is a very powerful tool. So if I go help.squarespace.com, since I'm sharing my screen, and search HTML5, all of this is here. Uh, oh, they couldn't, oh, adding. Oh, it's not as easy to find as I thought. Um, So this is a code block, which is certainly of interest to you. Um, and now we might want to Google that. But we can look at the HTML. And I'm, I'm willing to bet, although I don't know for sure uh, whoever's asking that question, um, you know, whether or not it's HTML5, Glenn. Uh, but uh, I'll, I'll make a side bet with you of, I don't know, a cup of coffee that um, Squarespace 7, the latest version, which has got the responsive design and so forth, um, is going to be HTML5. Uh, if you want to take the bet, let me know, and I'll buy you a cup of coffee if I lose, or you buy me a cup of coffee if I do. Thank you, Jeff. Glad you enjoyed the presentation. Kim and Ken W. are in San Diego, and uh, we'll talk later. Thanks for being here. And uh, any other questions? It's 1042 in the morning here in California. And how are you doing there? So. Uh, yeah, this is, wow, <laughs> I hope, I, I know I did a little bit of information coming from the fire hose, and I hope nobody drowned, but, and I hope lots of people found useful information. I didn't put on my slides, but um, I'll give you, if you're still here hanging out after 43 minutes, because uh, I know everybody's busy, my personal email is jleland, just J-L-E-L-A-N-D at gmail.com, and I would love to hear from you, love your feedback, what you liked, what you didn't, what worked, what didn't work, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so uh, if there are not more questions, I'm going to say bye-bye. I think, let me look at my slides, see if there's anything else I didn't share. Um, I don't think you really want to get into mobile-friendly design. Uh, I could put my little offer back up, but I don't, and I don't even know if that thing is still up there for you guys. I think it is. It seems to be there on my on my control panel. So I hope I get to do lots of one-to-one -one get it done websites with lots of you. Uh, that would be a lot of fun. Uh, can you preview source code, Glenn? You are our techno weenie. I'm going to have to search on that too. Um, but there, you know, the the source code. Yeah, it's a little bit. You know, I mean, what I would say, I so I don't the the honest answer to that, Glenn, is that I don't know. Or oh, we're getting more questions, Joanne. I'll get to you in just a second. Um, oh, that's a good question about the URL. So yeah, let's talk about that. So I I have not needed to do that, and nor wanted to do that. The idea of Squarespace is to keep it simple. That's something that you'll need to um, search on, uh, on on either by Google or on the help that Squarespace.com. There is the code block. Uh, which I use mostly if there's some kind of embed, like an iframe, and I know we're getting technical for a lot of you, um, and and that way we can insert it in the page. But it really is not designed for the kind of direct HTML hacking. It's designed to be easy to use. So let me move on to Joanne's question because that's a great one. Yes, you can definitely do your own URL. Um, you know, if you look at any of those three sites that I offered you as examples during the presentation, 
uh, you can absolutely make it yourdomain.com. Um, there, there's a matter of, that's one of the things that I generally do with people during the three hour one-on-one -on -one get it done session because it involves going to your registrar um, where you registered your domain, like GoDaddy, Network Solutions, Register.com, what have you. And, and there are some technical settings that you have to change called the DNS in order to point the web hosting to Squarespace. And once you do that, it's, it's within their interface um, to support your own domain. So you own the domain via wherever you registered it, like we call it the registrar, like GoDaddy. Um, and then you point the web hosting over to Squarespace and then you have your own domain uh, active. So um, yeah, that so absolutely it supports you doing your own URL. I would not be doing it if not. Uh, so Pushkar says very good intro. Thank you very much. Uh, Glenn is gonna check on the uh, uh, source code himself. So I appreciate that, Glenn. Uh, you're obviously very technically savvy. So, um, you know, not to worry. And I, and I appreciate, you know, like all people coming to it from all points of view. It's interesting the way that some of the conversations I've had in promoting Squarespace, like uh, what I mentioned during the presentation about being able to export your website. And, and I did, I went into the help and searched out and found, you know, that you can basically export the content um, so, you know, the text and so forth, the blog posts, uh, one blog only though, and it does support multiple blogs. But, you know, it, it's not the same as a full data export if you wanted to move to another provider. But if, if, you, were, if you make the investment in Squarespace, you're planning to be there for a while. If you're going to redo your website in a different platform, there are lots of ways for you to get the content and move it. Um, but, you know, some people are more technically oriented and that's a big deal for them and, and different strokes for different folks. I mean, again, I'm not saying that Squarespace is for everyone. Absolutely, you must use Squarespace. And I'm doing WordPress websites still, um, but they're bigger budgets and they're more customizable and it's a different kind of a project. I want to help small businesses get more done. I'm really passionate about that part of it. And I, you know, I love the opportunity of communicating on the web and all that it opens up, but it's about the communication. It's not about the technology. And so what I think from my perspective, Squarespace really does in an important way is it opens things up to make it easier for small businesses to have good professional, good looking, professional, mobile-friendly websites with a minimum of hassle. It still takes work. But you know the kind of stuff that I can get done in collaboration in a three-hour session just would not be possible customizing a WordPress theme, and and or let alone building one from the ground up. So, you know, it's just a different kind of project. And for some organizations, it's going to make more sense to have a bigger, more elaborate website. Um, for a lot of small businesses, they need a good website and they need it quickly, and they want to spend less money because they want to put invest in other things. Like Facebook ads, for example, which I, you know, I use to build the audience for this workshop. So, um, you know, that kind of stuff is a real lever, and I think that in general we all want more time and so forth. So that's kind of the bottom line. I don't see any more questions, although these were great questions. I really appreciate them. Um, let me just get my mouse over here and see if there's any more scrolling going on. Um, I lost the pictures of my website. My yeah, no, I'm still good. Uh, anyway, the that's it. I think we're done. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for being here. Uh, I really appreciate all of your uh, time and attention and interest. And uh, like I said, jleland at gmail.com if you have questions or comments. And uh, I hope we got lots of signups. And I wonder if those first two slots are already gone or not um, in terms of the special offer for one-on-one -on -one Get It Done websites. So thanks again. And uh, We'll see you soon. We'll see you online, social media. If you go to combridges.com, uh, you can find out more about me or sign up, hook up with me on social media. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks again. Bye-bye.